RAM, the right Riemann approximation method, to approximate the area under the curve of x cubed from 0 to 2. And again, we're going to use four partitions as we did in the LRAM problem. So just like before, we're going to break up this partition into four parts. So here we have 0 to 2, when broken up into four parts, gives us an equal width of one half because two divided by four is one half. So let's start off at our first x value, which is at x equals zero. Then we'll go one half to the right of that, one half to the right, one half to the right, and one half to the right. So here we have all four of my rectangles that you can see. Well, we do have five different x values that describe these four rectangles. Now since we're using a right Riemann approximation, our rectangles are going to come from the right hand x value. So we're going to go from 0.5 and over and that gives us our first rectangle. So the height of this rectangle is a function value at 0.5. That's given by f of 0.5. Our second rectangle we go from 1 and on over. So the height of this rectangle is f of 1 because we're going from 1 to the top of the function value at 1. Our third rectangle goes from 1.5 and over. So this is f of 1.5. That describes the height of our third rectangle. And finally, our fourth rectangle goes from x equals 2 and on over, so the height of this rectangle is f of 2. Now, if you were right now to create your approximation formula, our h here is 0.5 times our first function value, or the height of the first rectangle, which is f of 0.5, plus the second one, which is f of 1, plus the third one, which is f of 1.5, plus the fourth one, which is f of 2. Now, f of 0.5, that's 1 half cubed, that's 1 eighth. f of 1 is 1 cubed, which is 1 f of 1.5 is 3 over 2 cubed, which is 27 over 8, and f of 2 is 2 cubed, which is just 8. And when you do all of this out, what you get is 6.25. So that right there is the answer. We've done this now without actually drawing anything. All we looked at was how far apart my x values are, and looking at the right approximation, what function value would determine the height of these rectangles. However, I have actually graphed it out for you, and this is what the graph looks like. It's exactly as we had noticed. Our first rectangle goes from x equals 0.5 up and over. x equals 1 up over. 1.5, and finally, x equals 2. Now, the left Riemann approximation was beneath the curve. However, here, our right Riemann approximation is way above the curve. So this is, this is not a very good approximation. This is very high. Um, and there you go.